first career start wearing number 12 for the Panthers who wear the sharp yellow with the royal blue numerals. Ron Groover, Sean Hull, and Jerry Heater on the whistle and the Irish get the opening tip. Both teams combined to go 0 for their first 10 and Tony puts the first points on the board. On East Tony really had a wide open look at it. Step back two at the top. Ten to shoot. Into the corner, Leshesky knocks down the triple. Boy, nice play. You know what? When you get Moody setting a screen. Burke, maybe too much too soon for Jeff Capel's first squad here. In this full rebuild going on. Gibbs on the drive. TJ Gibbs has got his first basket. New York Life ACC Tournament from Charlotte. First time in 11 years. And uh, Anna was well received the last time he was there. That's a frame. Knocked down three. Charlotte has kind of become a central location for the ACC. They've done a marvelous job with the football title game in the last several years. And there's Prentice Hub to answer the three by Wilson Frame. He's got five. Eight to shoot. Gibbs. Back for Hub at the top against this zone. Now Gibbs launching and hitting. TJ Gibbs, his 63rd three of the year, which leads Notre Dame. Here is McGowan. Malik Ellison. City and Deer tries to match it up. Johnson wanted to screen. Tony obliged. And Xavier Johnson on the board. Back to a four-point Notre Dame lead after the Johnson bucket. Into the corner, Leshesky another three. A pair of threes for Nate Leshesky. Here's Dane Goodwin. Leshesky again. Sure. He rings the bell a third time. Time out for Leshesky. Chabuka's coming to the ball game. McGowan beats Tony in traffic. Augie's Tony's got his second field goal. Good one off that high screen of Mooney and gets the roll. Well, I was doing a good job moving in this zone. I mean, well, and you, you, uh, Wesley, you get the sense that Pitt really wants to play with uh, you know, a little more pace and a great take to the basket that time. Finally, collects it. McGowan's in transition. Sure. Trey McGowan's 28-3 of the year. Let it go. Missed the three. Inside, they scramble for it. Chapuka trying to find position. McGowan's. Here's Ellison up strong and one. Actually steals the ball away. But look at these two interior passes. Boom, boom, and the great, the great take. It's coming in here. Well, the, uh, you know, the good news, if you're if the Irish, you know, there's not any really scoring. You still have a five-point lead. McGowan sets it down on Mooney. You can see Trey McGowan. Look at this. He is eyeing this up, teaming up, and finishing it up. This, 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 this has been a different guy in the first half here. And it started with that first jump shot. But what a dunk. Nine to shoot for Gibbs. Nice pass. Leshesky finishes. Well, he's having it. You know, where would the Irish be without him? Now half number one. Seven to shoot for McGowan, who's feeling it. Why not? Yes, sir. His first season. It, uh, Panthers, who finished the half on the run, tried to get the lead, and they do on the drive by McGowan, who's got 11. It slips his baseline. Tony had it blocked from behind by Booney on a five play. Three to shoot. Johnson, shot clock running down. Wilson Frame banked it home. Well, we saw it with Torn Dorn the other night. We did. Uh, you know, Georgia Tech answered at the buzzer, but great shot by him. And Gibbs answers for Notre Dame. He's got eight on him. Couple of threes and a regular field goal. <laughs> Here's Mooney trying to get going offensively. Does second field, first field goal, four points now. Chapuka back for McGowan. Drives, scores, and draws the foul. Went through concussion protocol, but was never quite the same after that. Way Chapuka cleans it up inside off the Johnson miss. First points for Kenna Chapuka. And, and usually they played on a national championship team as well. Yeah, look at the bench now, right? Here's Hub, the runner, off the window and in. Prentice Hub's third field goal. Six minutes gone and ten to shoot. And actually, they got Durham in the middle of that zone. And, uh, Nine for Wilson Frame.
transition defense that time by Notre Dame to cut off the break. Terrell Brown on the baseline. First basket for 6'10 sophomore Terrell Brown. Notre Dame grinding every possession at the offensive end, aren't they? Deflected and turned over. Here's Johnson. McGowan's another finish. Well, we talked about those pick sixes last where the turnovers occur. So, you know, why not go through the process? It's there, no harm, no foul, nothing happens. Incredibly hard worker as well. And Deer out of the corner. And there's another three for the Panthers. You, you look at it now, 15 seconds, and they still haven't gotten into their offense on the shot clock. Ten to shoot. Goodwin foul line jumper good. Six for Dane Goodwin. So fresh 30 for Goodwin and the Irish. See, look at the close down on Goodwin in the corner that time. There's Goodwin from in front. Worked around Chabuka for the basket. I know Cape would like to get McGowan's cranked up again offensively, too. Here's Tony. Through traffic on East Tony. Third field goal. He's missed a couple of those at point blank and a couple of jump hooks that he would normally knock down. Been Mooney's poor shooting effort of the, I mean, of the year so far. Leszewski finally gets the Panthers, or gets the Irish back in. Some sort of good graces from behind the line. The lead cut down to five with 3.40 to go. Johnson, rainbow. His third field goal, first points of the half for Xavier Johnson. Things Notre Dame does now, they've got Gibbs in the middle of that zone. There's a double team. Leszewski again. Knocks down another one. Is that a two? No, a three. Down here's Hub. Under 10 to shoot. Good one against the zone. Leszewski, big three. Wow, that was Wilson. Graham was all five seconds to go. Johnson on the drive, comes to a stop, leaner right hand. Hub on the drive, lob, Booney the catch, Mr. Chippy got it back, gives a three for the lead. And Tony slapped it around and saved, but batted away. Two point game, Gibbs can tie it here. Rims out the one and one. Now Notre Dame has to foul. There is a bushel of foul trouble both ways. Johnson knocks the free throw down. Time West, we talked about it, even though it would be a four-point lead. Get it, get, get as quick a two, rush it up the floor, and you get a missed free throw. Dame's got one timeout, Pittsburgh's got two. No timeout so far. And taken away McGowan's, and there's the Mooney foul. Trey McGowan's to the line for one and one. Missed it. Well, we've seen some opportunities by both sides missed. Traveled two one knocked away, threw it 